Okay, hi, this is Rob with Precision Zone, and from our previous video, we already know some things. Power is off to the machine, there's no power to the drive, we've disconnected the cables from the drive, and we've megged it, and we know we have a problem. But we already know the problem isn't with our motor, and the problem is with our cables. And maybe this winding selector contactor. <clears throat> so, what I've already done is I've already disconnected all the wires from the contactor to make this go a little bit quicker. But let me explain just how this works. You only have three wires UVW that go to this contactor. And then you have six wires that go up to the motor, UVW, ZX, Y. So on the UVW of the contact, you'll, you'll have two wires, one's coming from the drive and one's going up to the motor. Then on ZXY, you should only have one wire, and that's the one going up to the motor. So, with our mega, we're going to make sure we still have that good ground. And we're going to pull U out, and we're going to give it a wiggle. And this is probably the one that goes up to the drive, because if, if I pull on W, yeah, it wiggles that one there. We'll put it on our 1,000 volt setting. And we're less than 300. So this is pretty much gonna say that our problem is with the cable to the motor. But we can just double check to make sure that that problem isn't in the short piece because it would be a crying shame if you replaced the cable to the motor and it was just this little section but this little section is just fine so I'm going to put those back into place and so I know it's this top one so let's check v yep V is grounded and U is grounded and so we can go ahead and check X Yep, X is grounded. Z is grounded, and let's check Y. Yep, and Y is grounded. <coughs> so we know we have a problem from the winding selector contactor up to the motor and all six leads are grounded so that will definitely have to be replaced now if you have had a spindle drive in for repair we always recommend that you change this contactor compared to the price of a repair on the drive it's just cheap insurance to make sure that this wasn't damaged but if you don't if you haven't had your drive sent in repair and you want to just check your contactor we'll be doing a bench check of this contactor in a later video. Well, I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, please check us out at precisionzone.com. We're here, we perform free motor evaluations, and we provide 12 month warranties on all of our motor repairs. Thanks for watching.